Hello everyone, uh, we're going to talk about arithmetic series and uh, we'll go through the formulae. The, so let's start uh, over here and what we're going to do is to look at arithmetic series. Hello everyone, uh, I'm going to do uh, a C2 section from sequences and series on uh, arithmetic sequences and series. With arithmetic sequences and series, we have uh, a difference, uh, same difference between all of the terms. Let's begin by uh, going to a story about Gauss. Now, when Gauss was at school, he was given the task of adding the numbers 1, 2, 3, all the way to 100. And uh, he was only a kid at the time, and he managed to do it within just a few minutes. And the way he did it was like this. Um, so he added 1 to 100, and he wrote down the sequence in reverse. So you got 98 and 99, all the way down to 1. And then he summed them all together. So he realized you got 101, plus 101, plus 101, all the way down to 101. And he found he's got... 101, he's got 100 lots of them, but because he's double counted everything, because he's added this extra series um, over, because he's added this extra series over here, um, we can divide this by 2. So this will give us uh, 10100 divided by 2, which gives us 5050. And to show that we're summing, we can write S100, a small 100 over there. Now, if we were to um, uh, use algebra instead of numbers, we've got the first term, which is A. Uh, so A is the conventional letter for the first term. We then have the second term, which is A plus D, so we've got a difference. And then we have the third term, which is A plus 2D plus a plus 3d and it goes on and on and on to the last term let's call that L and so if I now just use a different color let's use blue if I do the same thing so we've got L over here and um, we've got a over here if we're going to add them together and divide by 2 then we know that the sum of n terms is going to be a plus L uh, n over 2. So that's that's a, a useful formula. Now if you notice um, what we have here, let me just move this down over here. Now if you notice what we have is that last term L can also be written as the first term plus some difference. Now we can see here that there's no there's, there's, there's no difference on the first term. On the second term, there's one difference. Third term, there's two. Uh, fourth term, there's three differences. That means on the last term, on the nth term, there must be n minus 1 differences. Our formula now becomes Sn equals n over 2. And instead of, a, instead of L, I'm going to write plus a plus n minus 1 times d. And this becomes n over 2. 2a plus n minus 1 times d. So there we have a another formula which is very useful. Okay, so those two formulae. Now we also have, if we look at this quite carefully, um, we also have when we've written the sequence out, so a plus a plus d plus a plus 2d plus a plus 3d all the way to the last term, we can, we can, we can find a formula for uh, the nth term. So it's not the sum of the terms, it's just the nth term. And let's say it's a n. Okay, so a n is the first term plus the um, 
plus n minus 1 times the difference. So that means my uh, second term here, I'll have n uh, 2 minus 1, which is just 1 times d. With um, my third term here, I've got n minus 1, which is 2, 2 times d, etc. So there's a, a third formula which is very useful. So let's see how these formulae work. Okay, so uh, let's look at an example. Uh, the arithmetic sequence has 16 terms, so that's quite useful. They've told us what n is. And it, you've got 2, 5, and 8, 8. So the first thing to do is write down which terms you have. So we know that, write down what you know. So n equals 16. We know the first term equals to 3. And the difference, now this is a really important word. We already know the question is told as arithmetic. So therefore the difference is going to be constant, it's going to be the same. And we can see from uh, the, di the difference between 2 and 5 is 3, and then 5 and 8 is 3 as well. So the difference here is going to be 3. Now um, they want us to work out the last term. So if we do uh, use our formula where we've got an equals a plus n minus 1 times d, then this is my first term, which is 3, plus 16 take away 1, times the difference, which is 3, and we end up with uh, 2 plus 45, which equals 47. Right, for the second one, find the sum of the sequences. Um, now we don't we don't have the last term, and we but we do have a formula. We've got n over two, uh, two a plus n minus one, all times d, and this is also written as n over two, a plus l. Where the a remember is uh, your first term, l is your last term. Now we know that. Um, the last term is 47, so we can use this form over here. And let's put that in. So we have um, Sn equals 16 divided by 2. And then my first term is uh, uh, 2. And the last term here is 47. Okay, so we've got 16 over 2 times by 49. And that should give us 3, 9, 2. Okay, let's look at example 2. Um, so we have an uh, arithmetic series where well, the first term is 3, sum of the difference uh, is 20, sum of the first 20 terms, sorry, um, is 2, 2, which is 2, 8, 8. So find the common difference. So let's write down what they've given us. Um, so we know A. Uh, equals to 3 and the sum of the first 20 difference 20 equals 2, 8, 8 and we have to find out the common difference so we don't know what the last term is so again we've got to use our formula Sn equals n over 2 and 2a plus n minus 1 uh, times d and um, so we can substitute our a in there. So we've got um, uh, 2a, and then you've got, you've got n over 2, so you've got 20 over 2, and that's the sum of the first 20 terms, plus n minus 1, so you've got 19 times your difference, uh, which is over here. And uh, we know this equals 288. Eight. So to rearrange this, uh, we'll get D equals something. Do you want to work that out and enter your results on the form for this video? Okay, so uh, let's look at this another example. You might want to pause this uh, video at this point and uh, maybe have a go at doing this example yourself. Uh, let me just fix that. Okay, so here we've got arithmetic series. Um, so we know there's uh, we know the formula which are going to apply here. Now they've given us d, 
they've told us the sum of the first 25 terms, so when n is 25, is 350, and we want to find the first term. Right, the first thing to do is write down what they've given you. So we know that um, s, firstly n, n equals, uh, where are we here we go, right, n equals to 25, and the sum of the first 25 terms equals 350, and d, the difference is minus 0 0.5. Okay. Now, we don't know what the last term is, and we don't have the value for the nth term. Um, so what we can do is use our formula where we have Sn equals n over 2, 2a plus n minus 1 times d. And if we solve this, if we substitute what, what the numbers we've got, we've got 350 equals 25 over 2. Okay, uh, 2 times my first term, so that's right, 2a, we don't know what the first term is, and n minus 1, so that's 24 times minus 0 0.5. We can then tie that up and find out what a equals. Okay, so what I'd like you to do is to work out what a equals, for example, 3, and enter it on the forum, the form that um, this video clip is attached to. Thank you. So I'll just write that as a note. Find A. Right, so let's look at a slightly hard example, example 4. And so we, ha we have here the fifth term of an arithmetic sequence is 24. The ninth term is 4. Find the first term and the common difference. The last term of the sequence is minus 36. How many terms are in the sequence altogether? Right, um, obviously not your plug and play things, but let's, let's write down what we've got. Now it doesn't tell us the sum of the series sequence, it just tells us um, that the fifth term is, so we, we can write down the formula for a general term, which is a n equals a plus n minus 1 times d, and so a5 um, the fifth term of the sequence is 24, so a5, which equals a, plus the fifth term, so 5 minus 1, times d, equals to 24. And the ninth term, so a9, equals a, plus 9 minus 1, times d, equals to 4. And so we can tidy those up, uh, and that will be a plus 4d, equals to 24 and a plus 8d equals to 4. So this is equation 1 and let's call this equation 2. Right, if you solve them uh, simultaneously, uh, if we solve them simultaneously we can work out what a and d is. I'd like you to do that. So work out what a, work out what d is and enter your results on the form. Um, for this tutorial. For the second part, the last term of the sequence is minus 36. How many terms are there? Again, we can use the formula un a n equals a plus n minus 1 times d, and they've told us this equals 36. If we know what a and d are, we can work out what n is going to be. So I'd like you to substitute your values of a and d into here and tell me what you get for n. Again, if you could put your results into the uh, form, that would be great. Thank you. Okay, so let's look at another example. Example 5, slightly harder question again. Um, and here we've got the sum of the terms of an uh, arithmetic sequence um, with the first term is 5 and the common difference is 6. Right, so the total is 616. How many terms are there in this sequence? So let's start by writing down um, our, uh, our values. So we know that A, uh, let's write down what we've got. So D equals 6. 
um, a equals to 5 okay and um, the sum of the terms is sn equals 616 now we don't know what the last term is so we can basically the, we, the only formula we can use is when we've got sn equals n over 2 2 a plus n minus 1 all times d now if we substitute our values in uh, so we're not sure what n over 2 is yet and we've got 2 times a which is uh, 10 let me just write that out ok plus n minus 1 times our difference which is 6 ok so let me just write that out over here alright and that's the sum of and this the sum of n terms equals 6 1 6 now if we were to tie that up so we take the uh, 6n take away 6 um, so we've got 6n uh, take away 6 plus 10 okay uh, equals n uh, over 2 times 616 etc. If you to tidy that up, you we'll generate a quadratic equation and uh, you can factorize the quadratic. Uh, the quadratic equation should look like 3n44. You might want to check that out. And n minus uh, 14, which gives us 0. Now, n can't be a negative number. So the only th uh, solution we're left with is if n equals to 14.